As you begin to feel more comfortable with applying and creating actions, you may want to consider batch processing. Batch processing allows Photoshop users to apply an action to a series of images all at one time, as opposed to opening each image one at a time to apply the action over and over and over again. This is a great productivity booster and a time saver. Batch processing can be initiated from either Adobe Bridge or Photoshop. We'll focus on doing it from Bridge for now. If you're interested in trying it from inside Photoshop, you'll go to the File menu, then choose Automate, and then choose Batch. The steps shall follow to play an action on a batch of images uh, and launching it directly from Bridge. Uh, you will first organize your images by placing them all in one folder. Launch Bridge and navigate to the folder so that it is, is displayed on your screen as a series of thumbnails. Then, you need to select all the images that you wish to include in your batch process. It is not necessary to select the images if you would like to apply your action to the entire folder, every single image that's inside the folder. From the Tools menu, choose Photoshop and then Batch. You'll be redirected to the Photoshop. You'll be redirected to Photoshop, and the Batch dialog will appear. There are quite a few settings to choose from on the Batch dialog box. I've highlighted the ones you should be concerned about right away, and they include first, choose an action set to pick an action from. So all actions are stored in action sets. So first, choose the action set. Second, choose the action that you wish to apply to all of your images. The source will automatically say bridge if you follow the steps that we're outlining in this video. Make sure that you use the suppress file op open options dialog and the suppress color profile warnings um, option. So make sure that they are selected so that you don't have to deal with those prompts. Then choose a destination folder, aka where do you want the newly edited photos to be saved. And then last, uh, I recommend that you add a new file name option so that when the images are saved, you don't have the potential of overriding the originals. And so in this example, we're going to first use the document name, whatever it, it starts out as, and then we're going to add underscore sharpened. Or in our example, I'm going to put underscore orange and purple glow. When you have adjusted all the settings you wish to edit um, on the batch dialog, you can press OK to start your batch processing.